Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about these buttons here, the run macro button, the break button, and the reset button, and the design mode button. So <laughs> last time we looked at the project explorer and the properties window, and now we're going to write a macro and run it. And then we'll get into these other buttons in a second. So let me write a real quick macro, sub macro, uh, my macro. And all I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to put in cells 1, 1. I'm just going to put, I'm going to put whatever's in there. I'm going to put whatever's in there plus 100. So what this button does is it runs this macro. When I have my cursor here, uh, or here in the macro, and I press this run button, it's going to run the macro. So let me uh, minimize this, and uh, let me close the, let me, uh, I'll move this over. So I want to show you that if I press this run button in the macro, you see 100 right there, right? And if I press this button again, then you see 200 there, because what it's doing is, it's saying cells 11.value is equal to the value in that cell plus 100. So it's just adding 100 to whatever's in the cell. And if I keep pressing this, um, it's going to keep adding 100. And notice that this toolbar, I don't know, my toolbar's kind of messed up, but it's the same buttons here. So I don't know why I have two. Uh, oh, this is the debug toolbar. That's why. But the debug toolbar has these same buttons on it, run, pause, break, uh, things like that. So uh, this pause button is like a, uh, if you're running a macro and you want to break it, a long macro, you can press this break button and it'll stop it like a, like a stop on a VCR. So this macro is kind of short, so I can't really break it. Um, so what are these buttons? Reset and what, what is this reset and this design mode? So there, we, we know what this run button does and what this break button does. Uh, so now let's talk about these two. So this design mode is pretty cool. Um, it's dealing with ActiveX controls. And if you haven't seen them, we'll go over that real quick. They're nothing to be too concerned about. It's pretty easy. Uh, so on the Developers tab here, if you go to Insert, you'll see Form Controls and ActiveX Controls. And what these ActiveX controls are, they are objects that you can put on top of an invisible layer on the worksheet. So if I put a button here, I'm actually, I actually just drew something on an invisible layer. And that's why it's different than a regular form control. Because this form control is actually not on an invisible layer. It's like in the worksheet. So um, it's, it's, it's different than this button down here. Because with this button, you can actually control you know the the background color of it and you could control all kinds of things you control like the font size font color it, it it's on the drawing layer this invisible drawing layer so you can control all those drawing features like color and border and everything like that whereas with a form a form control you can so that's the advantage of activex controls um but also when you're dealing with these ActiveX controls and you're um, designing things on that drawing layer, you have to be in design mode because that's what allows you to like move this around. And if I click on properties, I can change the back color to this of green. And I can, I can also, part of design mode is not only designing the colors, but designing the code attached to the button. And how do you do that? Well, you just double click on it. So if I double click this, it automatically created code for me. Microsoft Excel automatically did. And it's because I was in design mode, it put that code in the code window. And notice that I'm in test sheet one here. So when I double click that button, it in this test sheet one, it put the code. So that's something to be uh, aware of is that when you're in design mode and you double click a button or a radio control or something like that or a form or a drop down list, you double click it, you're going to go to the code 
the code window of the sheet you clicked on. So that's something just to be aware of. So that's design mode. It's it's adding design mode is adding a an ActiveX control and de and designing it and double clicking it and going to if I double click this again I go to the code. So how do you get out of design mode? Well, you click this button here. It says exit design mode. So now I'm not in design mode. So now if I go back if I click this, I actually am running something. Notice that I'm not going to that a code window anymore. So that's that's what design mode does. Um, if I had code attached to this button, so let me let me go back to design mode, and let me just double click this. If I if I have this company macro, and if I just copy it, and I go back to test sheet one, and in here if I just go call my macro so now when I go back here if I get out of design mode I just put that macro behind the button so every time I press this button I have that macro is running okay and and how is that happening well let me double click this again I double click the button well every time I do that button command button one click um, I'm calling this my macro and where is my macro well my macro is here on the company in the company module and it's just um, doing this every time I hit that button it's taking the value and it's putting a uh, hundred plus okay so we know what the, the play button does we know what the pause button does it just it just stops the macro the reset is often used when you run a macro and um, you want to reset the environment so that you can access your code again. So this is this button is nothing to be concerned about. We'll run into this later in other videos, and I'll show you what that is. But um, this macro is kind of too small to to use a reset button. And then we know what design mode does. Okay, so we we're covered on these buttons here, and we already covered Project Explorer properties window. So you, you got a lot of these buttons on, so you could start writing some code. Um, one thing I want to show you though is okay we're running the macro here and I'm adding 100 to 19 and then if I do it again I have 20 uh, 2000 but how do I run it in the worksheet when I'm not in the environment well you can do that in a couple of ways so you can go here to the uh, developers tab and go to macro and here you can see you have your macro my macro and you could do all these things you can run it or you can step into it or you can edit it so if I step into it it's just gonna start the macro and stop at line one and then allow me to use the debug toolbar which I'll do a video on to show you how to step through it and I'll do a video on this debug toolbar but um, let me go back here it that's what this step into does it's dealing with debugging this edit is just saying I want to get in the macro and edit it so if I wanted to change it to 300 I could you know go into that this edit area and it's just gonna bring me to the macro and I can make changes uh, I could delete the macro I can uh, attach a shortcut key with this options here with that little options so I could put control if I put if I put control a it'll if I press control a it'll run the macro that's what a shortcut key is um, I could also run the macro here so if I run it I just let me do that again uh, if I run this macro, it'll go from 24 because I to 2700, and then it'll it'll go away. So that's what that's how you would run it if you're not in the environment. Or you could put a button on here like this, right? Like what we did, and you could every time you hit the button, you can you can uh, add 300 to the cell. So that's ways of running the macro. Um, like I said, uh, this is how you would do it in the worksheet. Uh, through the macro icon here and here's all your macros notice that it lists all the macros not just the one macro all these other macros are in the workbook so it's listing them here and you could run them edit them step into okay so that's all I wanted to show you with this one in the next uh, video I'm going to show you about the, the debug toolbar in in here so this what what is it what are these things do and th this is really where you're, you're gonna use these uh, 
you're really going to use these icons a lot. You're going to be stepping into and debugging things and adding a breakpoint and things like that. So that video is, is going to be good for you. But right now, I mean, you, you uh, if you watch the other videos, you, all these buttons are nothing new. You know exactly what these are. And eventually we'll cover all these icons and, and you'll be very familiar with the environment. So, okay, so that's the video. I just want to remind you that um, if you want to download any of these macros, Go to ExcelVBASQL.com and you could watch all the videos and download the Excel files. Uh, if you have questions, uh, contact me here in this contact link and that's it. Thanks.